Here in Westchester and in the New York region where we work, we have loads of different types of properties. As you know, we have condos, we have co-ops, we have single family homes, we have PUDs, we have, you name it, we have all these different types of things. So what are some of the sort of most major differences between insuring, say, a condo mm -hmm. versus a single family home versus a co-op? So the condo co-op form is very similar. Okay. We're concerned about the one unit within a bigger building. Okay. The single family home, we're concerned with everything. There's okay. no other policy to call on. Got it. So say there's a fire, mm -hmm. you lose everything. When it's a condo or a co-op, there's another policy that's rebuilding the main uh, building. Okay. We're only concerned with the walls in, the flooring, the cabinets. We're not okay. concerned with re rebuilding the entire structure. Okay. We're a single family home. If my house is leveled in a fire, I have to build everything, framing, yes. you know, foundation up to the roof again. There are different ways that that master policy, let's call it, okay. can cover. Some of them only master do outside. Master policy is the, the building's policy. The building okay. policy that's Great. available to all unit owners. Okay. Some of them only cover the outside, that's it. Okay. Some of them will cover the inside to original specs. Okay. So say the unit had wall-to-wall oh. -wall carpet and laminate counters, and you've <laughs> upgraded to hardwood and oh, granite. No. And then there's a fire. Okay. My question is, are they putting back the laminate or right. are they putting back your upgraded granite? Wow. So that could be different depending on the association and the property. Okay. And then some of them, you know, they do cover everything inside, including those betterments. And you're really just responsible for your deductible. Whose job is it to look at the master policy before closing to see if there needs to be additional coverage? Lenders that. will okay. because it's their requirement that the building's covered. So if there's a okay. gap in the master, they're going to require you to get this okay. H06 unit owner policy. Got it. Uh, and this is another thing where I find where people call and get their own quotes. The other person on the other side of that phone is not doing right. as in-depth of a questionnaire right. like I do. Right. So I will quote it both ways. Yeah. Worst case, you're responsible for everything inside and that is... 250, okay. 250,000. Best case, they cover everything and you're responsible for 25,000. Okay. Here are the different numbers. Let's wait and confirm. Okay. Instead of grabbing the wrong one, you're either right. going to pay for coverage you're never going to end up using because it's covered somewhere right. else, which why waste your money? Right. Or you're going to take a policy with a huge gap and not find out until there's a loss yeah. that this is out of your pocket. You're not going to have a bank saying, oh, you need this extra, extra coverage, right? But Jennifer can look at those policies and, and, and identify in the master policy where the gaps are.